Welcome to Cat's Kitchen and welcome to episode five of my Dutch Bros Like Cat series. In this series, I'm recreating all of the Dutch Bros drinks so you can make all of your favorite Dutch Bros drinks at home and save your money. Or if you've never been to Dutch Bros, you're not familiar with the Dutch Bros coffee shop, this series is really just meant to give you some inspiration for drinks you can make yourself at home that are fun flavor combos, maybe a different combination of syrup and sauce flavors that you've never tried before. So it's just meant to give you some ideas for things that you can make and helping encourage you get creative with your at-home beverages so you never get bored. Today for day five we're doing a Dutch Bros astronaut tea. The astronaut syrup flavors are almond, blackberry, and raspberry which I think are really super duper fun. So we're going to make a green tea version and a black tea version today. I have the Tarani Pure Made Almond. Their Pure Made line is just free of artificial sugar, nope, free of artificial flavors, colorings, preservatives, they're non-GMO. Ingredients, pure cane sugar, water, natural flavors, and citric acid versus their regular non-pure made syrups. This one has pure cane sugar, water, natural flavors, citric acid, caramel color, sodium benzo benzoate to preserve freshness, potassium sorbate to preserve freshness, FD and C red 40. So artificial colors and preservatives. If you don't want that in your syrups, but you still, you know, want the Toronto syrups, totally cool. Use their pure made line. I don't know if every single flavor is in their pure made option, their pure made line, but they have a ton. So I have the pure made almond. I also have the blackberry syrup and the raspberry syrup. You can use sugar-free options if you want sugar-free. I don't have sugar-free in any of these flavors, so I'm not using it today, but you absolutely can if your heart desires. And then I have green tea and black tea. Both of these are unsweetened. I do recommend using unsweetened teas, especially if you're using, you know, the sweetened, the, the syrups, because these are adding sweetener and flavor. I'm using store-bought teas because it's easy for me. It's quick, it's convenient. If I'm making this, you know, in the afternoon or for dinner or whatever, it's easy for me to just grab this out of the fridge, pour the syrups in, pour the tea, you know, and ice, and then you're done. You can, however, get green tea bags or black tea bags, steep them in water, and then chill. You can chill it overnight, you can chill it for a couple hours, whatever you like. I don't have that kind of patience, <laughs> especially for videos like this. Like that's, that's a lot of preparation <laughs> beforehand. But that is an option and it is very affordable. You can make a big old batch of green tea, put a big old, I don't know, gallon in your fridge for the week. And then you can just, you know, pour it or use it throughout the week if that's what you want to do. So that is an option. We're using store-bought bottled green tea and black tea. I really like this brand, Itoen. I don't know. I think it's a Japanese brand. I like it a lot. And then Tijava is my favorite black tea brand. So those are what I'm using today. Then we're just going to boom, boom, make them both at the same time. So almond syrup going into both. It's like just straight up almond extract, straight up almond extract. So if you don't want to get this almond syrup, you can use almond extract. Almond extract is not going to give you any sweetness. So keep that in mind. But I do think that would be okay since we are still using two other syrup flavors. If you happen to have that in the pantry or in your kitchen, maybe don't go and grab the almond syrup if you don't want. Dutch Bros does use it though. I love, love, love the blackberry. I've been loving this in Diet Coke with like sugar-free peach and then a little bit of dairy-free half and half. Oh, so good. Anyway, adding that into both cups too. I'm doing about half a tablespoon Woohoo! of each of these syrups. This tastes just like blackberry jam or like jelly. So good. And then the Tarani raspberry. Love this one too. Oh, it smells so good. Look how much I've used of it. You can tell I really like it. Adding that in again, another half tablespoon or so. Use more, use less, up to you. This is like plenty of syrup for me for this size drink, probably on the higher end, but it's fine. And then I'm gonna do green tea, just up until this little ridge so I can add ice as well. I'll be honest with you, I have not tried this flavor combo before. So I am really super duper excited to taste it. And then the black tea one, adding it in. <laughs> look, 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 look. And for ice, I like to buy a big old bag of Sonic ice. 
It's about three bucks or so. Totally not necessary. But if you like pebble ice, Sonic sells bags of ice and so does Chick-fil-A. And maybe QT. Not sure about QT, but maybe. Ice, ice, maybe. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 chicken, bow, bow. Bow, 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 chicken, wow, wow. Okie dokie, let's give these a taste. You can tell this one here on my left, your right, is darker in color because the black tea is darker versus this lighter green tea. Just wanna make sure I'm not slurping up just syrup. Try the green tea first. Mmm. It's good. I don't know how much I love the almond in it, but it is good. Hmm, interesting. Interesting flavor combo. And the black tea. Hmm. I do like that one better. I usually do gravitate more towards black tea than green tea. Huh. It's good. I do like it a lot. I don't think I would opt for almond syrup in a drink, but it's not bad in a, in a tea like this. Sorry. <laughs> I do like, what have I used that in? I don't remember. I like the black tea a lot more, <laughs> but both are good. Wow. Interesting. I'm just like sugeth because I've never had almond extract in a tea before. So I'm really trying to, to, to this, I'm really trying to decide if I think it tastes good with the fruitiness. I don't, I don't want to say it's bad because it's not bad. It's just different, you know? Mm -hmm. I do prefer the black tea over the green tea. But both of these are really good. If you like the Dutch Bros Astronaut flavor combo, this is how you make it at home. You could also make this as a Red Bull instead of using the tea. Do exactly what I did with the syrups and then just add in a can of Red Bull, add some ice, boom. You can make this as a lemonade instead of a tea. Same thing, syrups, lemonade, ice, boom. Astronaut lemonade. And then you could also do this as a soda. I would do club soda, but you can do like Sprite if you wanted to as the base. There are so many different ways that you can enjoy each of the syrup combos. Overall, I would give the green tea a six out of 10 and the black tea a seven out of 10 because it is good. I prefer the black tea usually. I do think the almond is just a little bit funky in a tea, just a little bit. Like I wouldn't opt for it personally, but I don't think it's bad. It is good and I really do like the berry syrups in it. If you've tried the astronaut flavor combo from Dutch Bros, comment down below what you thought of it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I'm just, I'm curious. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow for, I keep saying tomorrow because my other series, I did it daily. We're not doing daily vids. We're not doing daily vids. Next episode for episode six, we're gonna do the Dutch Bros Irish Cream Brevet. That used to be one of my all time favorite drinks. And it actually was the first drink I tried attempting to make at home because my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, him and I were getting that drink like every single day from Dutch Bros. We were going daily and spending like 11 or 12 bucks between the two of us on that drink. So that was one of the first drinks I learned how to make at home. I'm excited to share that with you and teach you how to make your very own Irish cream brevet at home. So I will see you in the next video. Mwah, got a blast.